Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have here um, a crashed uh, Citroën C2. Uh, as you can see, the car is all um, dismantled. We don't have the airbags yet. However, uh, we want to try and start the car. And for some reason, these cars, uh, when they crash, they lock the injection so they won't start. You have to reset the uh, crash in the ECU. I've seen some of these cars that you don't actually need to do the, that, but this one, I'm pretty sure uh, that's the problem why the car doesn't start. So first off, we have to remove this uh, center console here and disconnect the, the power window switches. As you can see, under there, there's the um, control module for the airbag. Uh, on the back, you will find a little cover that holds uh, and hides the 13 millimeter nut. And on the front, you will find two T25 or T20 um, uh, bolts. So first off, we need to unplug these buttons and um, the cigarette lighter as well. And um, we'll go from there. This is very hard to do with one end. But as you can see, there's uh, these little tabs here that you need to press and pull. This one as well. And also the other one, the big one is for the, um, the cigarette lighter or the charger, if you like. Now we need to remove the um, 13 millimeter um, nuts at the back under this cover. As you can see there. And then... In the front, under this plastic cover here, you will find two T20 uh, X uh, bolts that you need to remove as well. After removing the bolts and the nut, all you have to do is just lift the back and pull backwards and um, to clear the gear lever and the handbrake. After that, as you can see, uh, there's the um, dirty um, airbag control module. This is normal because this is in a place that you cannot actually vacuum or anything. And um, it's been there for uh, 14 years in this car. So um, that's why it looks like it does. To remove the module from the car, you need to unplug the, the connector and there are three 10 millimeter uh, nuts uh, on the module itself. So after cleaning, uh, so I can see the reference and um, see what kind of um, control module it is, um, it looks a lot better. Uh, now these are some plastic rivets and we need to drill them out. Some people like to cut them, I just drill them, not putting any um, force into them. We just, you know, just let the drill sit and just work it and uh, it will drill right away. Bear with me guys, I'm doing this with one hand only. That's why uh, I put the, um, the module in the vise so it can hold it and um, that's why I'm drilling all, all crooked.
this module, uh, this board actually, it's just pressed in place. The, the, those pins are not soldered. They are just uh, press fitted. Um, this one is not the EEPROM that we need to, to program. The EEPROM is on the other side, on the um, underside, if you like. As you can see, these are the prongs that stay in the, um, the box. The board just clips in place. You have to make sure that you don't bend any of those little pins there. And um, the EEPROM that we need is this one. It's a 95-160 uh, ST, I believe. Is this one right next to the, um, the, the processor there. So as always, we will be using our XProg. We're going to remove the EEPROM from the, um, the controller or, or the board and putting it in our adapter so we can read and edit uh, the, the dump and then program it and put it back in the car. Hopefully everything will be okay. I had um, a problem uh, reading uh, with the machine <clears throat> that it said there all the airbags, of course, because there is no seats, there are no airbags put into the car. Um, also, I had an EEPROM error, something, and a crash detected um, in the DTC count. just need to make sure that the reference or the serial number or the uh, hardware number it's um, correct when I'm doing the calculation. So now the uh, EEPROM, the 95160 EEPROM, is um, soldered to the adapter uh, for the XPROG. Now let's go to the uh, software. We just hit uh, device, select SC M95160. So ST M95160. And um, we are going to hit read new first, of course, and then read. Okay, so now we have the original dump um, from the control module of the car. We're gonna save this um, dump 
and then we are going to pass the dump uh, to the other computer where we have the calculators uh, to do that. Right here I'm using a SEU Vonix airbag uh, module cal calculator or a um, resetter if you like. And um, this will be erasing the accident or the crash in the car and hopefully will let the car start and also correct the EEPROM fault that um, I had in, dia in the diagnostic machine. So here's where the um, the serial number of the module uh, comes into play. You have to make sure you choose the right one. In this case, is um, 7780. If I'm not mistaken, it ends in 7780 with a 355 or 335, something like that. But you have to make sure that you have the correct um, part number. Uh, so that you can calculate it uh, properly. So I'm going to compare the two files, the one with the crash and the one um, already corrected so that you can um, actually see the addresses or the, um, yeah, the addresses in the dump that, that um, it was corrected. So I'm going to be comparing the two files, as you can see here. The, the one on top is the crashed one, the one on the bottom is the, the, clear, the clear one without any crashes in it. All those red spots are the differences the, that was edited to this file uh, with the ECU Vonix Airbag Universal, I, I believe that's what it's called. So now we are going to write the new dump uh, on the EEPROM and um, going to be putting everything back together in the reverse order.
Okay, so now it's time to put everything back as it was. Uh, don't forget to align all the pins properly before pressing it in. As you can see here, no pins were um, bent during this process, which is exactly uh, what we need. Now, to put the back cover um, on, I'm going to be using some hot glue or something like that, but probably hot glue, because uh, the way these bolts to the car, it really doesn't need to be watertight or waterproof, um, and it wasn't already. But um, the way it bolts down to the car, the um, it will hold even though even if you are not um, if you're not gluing the the parts back together, it will still hold um, very well. It's locked in place. Uh, hopefully, let's see if the car starts uh, after all of this work because that's our main concern right now. We don't want to do anything else to the car um, before we make sure that the, the engine is okay and that it runs. So um, let's just um, finish this job. see all the codes that are left are related to the seats the seat belts and the steering wheel airbags 
So um, as soon as we uh, put them on, we'll be able to erase it. No more EEPROM uh, error and no more crash error as well. So what's left to do is just to go ahead and uh, try and start the car. Okay, so it started first try. I guess this is a good job now. We can actually go ahead and finish the car. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe. See you next video.